Hey guys, J-Man here, and uh, today we are talking about Captain Marvel number 13. And tomorrow is Friday the 13th, so this is, uh, doesn't make any sense. I should have reviewed this tomorrow. Alright, I already taped this up, which I didn't even realize. I thought I hadn't taped it up. So let's get this sucker out. And um, now if you've been following along... I, I have liked the last few story arcs for Captain Marvel, and especially this one here with the, uh, oh, there you go. This is a great cover. It's, that's really, like, awesome. You know, this is a side note. I hate this ad. I don't even know what this is for. A movie, I guess. I hate this. Because I keep thinking that that's, like, scuffing. But it's not. It's part of the. It's part of the poster. We get it. All right. So let's go through this now. Um, there's going to be spoilers um, in this for sure because uh, you can't really talk about it without it. So this is the last Avenger Part Two. You get a quick recap. So Vox Supreme um, has given Carol some kind of cool outfit. I love this costume. They got to make a figure or a pop or something. Um, they probably won't, but mm, I wish they would. So he's basically forcing her to kill off the Avengers. That's kind of what we got now. She, um, killed Thor last issue and presented his head to Vox Supreme, who is the, um, he's got the Kree intelligence, the great intelligence, the Kree great intelligence. He's mixed with, he's mixed with that. So that's why he's Vox Supreme. So he's a Supreme intelligence mixed with Vox. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, I haven't read the Inhumans uh, stuff, so I don't really know about the origins of that character. If somebody wants to tell me what the hell that character is, they can let me know in the comments. So a lot of people were pissed off that Carol uh, beat up Thor. I already discussed that in my last video. Um, heroes fight each other all the time. That's a staple of comics. Stronger heroes, you know, often lose to weaker heroes, like Batman versus Superman. Superman always seems to lose somehow, which I don't believe would happen. I know he uses kryptonite, whatever. But, you know, if you can accept Batman beating Superman, then why not Carol beating Thor? Especially since, A, Thor wasn't uh, prepared for this battle. She caught him off guard. Uh, B, he is friends with Carol and loves her, so... He's, he's definitely not trying his hardest, and he's a little bit cocky, and she uses that against him. Now, spoiler alert, um, obviously she didn't kill Thor, and we find out in this issue that she didn't. But before we find that out, she's going to fight Tony Stark. Um, so she just comes in and starts beating the crap out of him. I like the art here. It's very nice, colorful, bright. Um, it is. It's very nice and bright. I like this. This is like good standard... You know, like very nice, bright pages. Um, it's one of the things I do like about this series. Uh, this is a nice, this is a nice page. Look at that! Boom, he like nails her. So similarly, we've got this thing here as well, where again Tony and Carol are friends. So obviously, he's not gonna kick the living crap out of her. Um, so basically, look, check out the outfit, man. Look at this thing. That's sick. They should just keep that. After this series, after this is over anyways. Um, so she fights Tony. She brings him into space. There, is this Eternity? You know, remember Eternity? I don't know if that is Eternity. They give her a name, but I don't remember what it was now. Okay, so here we go into the spoilers. Thor is still alive. And uh, so is Tony, of course. They're in like this pocket dimension, which is in Eternity. Or whatever that being is. And they say the name. And I'm just such a... I don't know why I forgot the name. I just read this too. Um, I read this earlier today. Actually, I read this yesterday. What am I saying today? But I forgot the name. I'm just calling her Eternity because that's what it looks like to me. But so it's like they're in this pocket universe. Now Vox Supreme can, can hear what Carol's saying and doing. So she's got to be really careful on how she does this. Um... So it basically shows why she's doing it. We don't know what Vox Supreme's um, goal is. Maybe it's in another uh, comic that I don't know about, like an Avengers book or an Inhumans or something. But uh, 
Um, there's a lot of Cree children who are kind of just like screwed because like nobody wants them because, you know, the Cree are dicks. So we can't have them on Earth, but then we don't know where else to put them because nobody wants them. So they're, they're in these little uh, safe houses or whatever around the, uh, around the, the planet, I guess, or, or America, wherever. And uh, Vox Supreme blows one of them up and he's like, I'm going to blow all these up unless you do what I say. So he kind of has Carol, uh, you know, by the throat there. And he wants her to kill all the Avengers off. So now how is she able to kill these Avengers and present? Because, I mean, she presented Thor's head. So that's explained because there was like some shield facility that I guess was cloning Avengers or something. So that's the explanation there. So everyone can relax. Captain Marvel, Carol did not kill all the Avengers, which we knew. Anybody who's anybody who knows anything about comics knows that she wasn't really killing these guys off. Okay. Um, do I think that Carol can defeat these characters? Well, it's kind of said in this issue that she, I think she could defeat Iron Man, I would think. Thor, not, not sure, because Thor's pretty strong, so I don't think she could really beat Thor, really. Um, but again, that's not really an issue, because, again, it, she wasn't he wasn't fighting at his fullest and she wasn't really trying to kill him so that it was just a battle and we've seen these fights so many times like i mean i've seen spider-man hold his own against hulk right so like getting into these debates is utterly pointless though it is fun um i do feel that sometimes these debates revolve around people not liking captain marvel and just saying oh she she sucks and she should lose or whatever i mean i don't care about that um, no, I don't think she could beat Thor. I don't think that takes away from her character. And when she defeated Thor in the last book, I don't think that took away from Thor's character or strength. You know, when 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 Superman gets defeated by Batman, I don't think that lessens Superman. Um, you know, Batman cheated by using Kryptonite. You know, but I, I, again, like it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt these characters. It's a fun thing. You know, so we want to have fun and read these guys fight each other. It's no big deal. So that's pretty much it. I uh, I really I did enjoy this issue number thirteen. I, I don't remember who's the next target, so we'll see um, who else she has to fight. But I, I think it's going to be pretty interesting, and I'm interested to see where this goes. Loving the art, the cover art's sick. Um, really like the interior art, and I like um, I like the story. So yeah, I'm 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 good. I will uh, definitely be getting the next one, and I will share my thoughts when that happens. All right, guys, that's it for now, and I'll see you next time.